Mayor Hogsett's violence prevention plan is already getting some pushback. WRTV's Cornelius Hawker spoke to a community leader who feels frustrated with the plan and feels he's not getting the support he needs to contribute to a solution to Indianapolis's violence problem. Don't plan for us without us. That's how Toby Miller, co-chair of the community response team, and several other community advocates feel about Mayor Hogsett's plan to cut back on the violence in Marion County. It was not connected to the grassroots. And I think that's where we really need to have authentic communication and authentic relationships. And I think from what we're hearing from the community, that is missing. One of the biggest problems Toby and others have with the plan? It's still very law enforcement a focused $1.52 million will go to law enforcement. It'll help them with staffing, connecting them to people most likely to commit or experience violence, and it'll create a program that would provide warnings for officers who deviate from IMPD standards. Toby's take on that? And that's why you can go ahead and invest millions of dollars in better technology and surveillance tools and police training and we'll still break records because we have not connected to um, all of that to the people. The other 1.79 million will go to programs that Toby believes came about in part because of the community input. I will give them some credit that they did adjust some of this to some of their proposals to starting to deal with youth and interruption and mental health. Um, and they did increase some of the work or some of the resources for crime prevention. But to truly address and cut down on the amount of violence we see in our city, Toby believes you have to dive deeper and create programs that focus on trying to undo the trauma so many communities have endured over the years. If you want to do systemic, institutional, transformational change, you've got to have a transformational kind of investment. And you need to look at things in a comprehensive manner. Working for you, Cornelius Hawker, WRTV. To come up with this plan to cut down on violence in Marion County, the city asked for community input and work with New York University's Criminal Justice Lab. The Indianapolis Fraternal Order of Police responded to the plan last week, saying it does not go far enough in helping law enforcement. The FOP is asking the city to buy and deploy a gunshot detection, along with demanding more help from the city. The FOP is asking elected officials to put an end to low bond and automatic release of some repeat felony offenders.